Hi, so I've made an Xerolinx installation and then later on made a clone. And we're gonna test, of course, work on the clone. Well, there is already. <laughs> we'll just um, tell them how to do it later. So Xerolinux clone, I don't need a CD or the, yeah, don't need it anymore. It's installed already. I'll start it up and I'll tell them in this video immediately how it's done to install the Arch Linux tweak tool. So if you haven't heard, um, basically it's one of our graduates, right? The Arch Linux University. Learn how to build your ISOs and then do your thing with it because it's all about choices all the time. What wallpaper, what icons, will I use toolbars? What will I do? Will I take left WM, BSP WM, Plasma? So many choices all the time. And that's the fun. So it's all explained on our websites. So the ATT, all right? Look around. Pseudo Pacman minus S Y by U. And we can make this a little bit bigger. Voila. So we have core extra community. So we are a pure Arch system plus choices. Xero Linux repo packages that are pre-packed and of course all the rest. Because pseudo Pacman minus R zero this is from him, but maybe there are even more stuff with other names that are from him. So it's just a matter of finding out what exactly is coming from Arch and what exactly is coming from Xero Linux or Arch Linux or Manjaro or Endeavor with or Garuda. Each of them have their own apps. So do we. So let's get our spices in. He just talked about the spices. If you type in our, in our YouTube channel, spices, very strange word, of course, but it makes sense to us. Arclex info, the information website, is where we put always on the front page. You can install any of our configurations, BSP, WM, Qtile, you name it, right? The only thing is you need to get access to our repos. If it's Arch you're on, not Manjaro, if it's Archeron straight from Arch Linux servers, then you're in for success. So what we need to do is get this thing installed. Right mouse click, look for something to open it, open in terminal, and then sudo pacman minus u are going to install it. So you type u, Yeah, probably better like this. Uh -huh. And then, of course, something. So tap, tap, voila, it's all <laughs> done. Never type, right? Use the tap. Enter. I know who I am, and that's my password. Voila. And I'm kind of guy that sticks around inside uh, the terminal. But, of course, it's up here somewhere in the accessories thing, I think it was. But voila. A waste of time stay in here up oh, launch it get the arclinks keys and packages bomb a click just a kip right keep it stupid stupid and simple we've typed it today to each other to xero linux two times three times four times right <laughs> it's that it lasts longer than making things so complex for people a button click it pseudo pacman minus s update your system what do you know, right? What do you know? Arcanlix repos is in here. Three repos from Xero Linux, three repos from Arcanlix. Same idea, Excel, because we are restricted on GitHub. 100 megabyte is it. There are so many interesting tools <laughs> that are bigger than 100 megabytes. So we need to go to something that's, voila, not free. So now that we have three things, the keys, the mirrors, and as you see, pacman.conf knows where it all is, you are good to go. We can install anything we like, and that's what we're going to find out. I've never done this before. We're going to find out 
what's happening, what's gonna, when is it gonna crash, and with this video I can find out, okay, this needs to change, that needs to change, and we're gonna install the Arch Linux 3 tool. So that will be our number nine. So this tool works on Arch Linux, Arch Linux, Carly, ALCI, Ariser, Endeavor OS, Garuda, Manjaro, and I'll add it to the list, Xero Linux. Arch Linux 3 tool, hope for the best, right? That's a nice thing, sliding to the end. Here we see already <laughs> elements that we say, okay, what's going on? GT bus connection, register object, right? No clue, we'll have to figure it out. So the auto start, zero tool. It seems to me that, where is Dolphin? There is something inside auto start. Control H, config, auto start. So the org.kde-latte-doc desktop, the zero tool desktop, we better go check what it all is. If you say, okay, I keep everything fine, otherwise we delete it, or we say unactive. So it's not launched, you don't see it. Now it's active and this button deletes it. As I don't know what, all, what it all is, I just keep everything. Desktop, hmm, I'm curious to see if this will work. Can I look, Control T, that was not working, Super Enter, that's not working, Super Shift Enter. What are the key bindings? Where are the key bindings? We go to learn about this system. We're going to settings. Is there a button to go quickly to settings somewhere? Probably is. System settings, remember the blue one. Now we type keyboard or something, custom uh, shortcuts. And let's see if there's something in here that is new. Custom keyboard shortcuts. Don't think there are keyboard shortcuts in here. I like to have one actually. Maybe there is, and maybe I'm missing it. Let's see if, if we can find it. Console would be nice. And I can find it with no active shortcuts. Okay. Add custom shortcuts, Ctrl Alt T would be nice. Apply. Voila. Ctrl Alt T. And there it is. So I've got a Ctrl T. Awesome. Let's see. Bam. There we go. <laughs> awesome is not defined. It's actually the same error as the one we're getting on Manjaro. So we'll have to take a look at why these things are different on different machines. Okay, let's skip the <laughs> desktop thing. I recognize that thing. Fix key is probably gonna work. The only thing is, I like to write some more code that if Alacrity is not installed, it's just gonna do it and without showing it inside Alacrity. So this is your basic Arch Linux stuff. Uh, for any Arch Linux based system, and this is distro specific. If there is something we would like to add, we can put it under there. If you're on Endeavor, it will show the stuff for Endeavor. If you're on Garuda, it will show the stuff for Garuda, stuff like that. So basically just thrown out, you can see what it's doing. These lines is what it's doing. And some of you already know what P Pacman key in it means and what it means to populate it again stuff like that the mainstream is actually servers from Arch Linux we can um, launch that too but first we need to done yeah you can close this window you need to close it otherwise this won't work anymore voila backman keys fixed everything is clickable again um, let me see where we're gonna get into trouble. I don't think this is gonna be a problem. So four servers, we've just changed our servers. Where is Arch gonna get it? From Osbeck, then from this one, then for that one. That's the order of things. Or I can get this, the old one back, reset mirror list. 
So the old mirror list is back now. So control T is working. Nano etc back in the D mirror list. That's what we put back. It has been generated by reflector. We've just saw it somewhere in the video earlier on. But mm, I don't know if I would be happy with AT Austria. So these guys, the ones in the mainstream, are actually always super, super fast. Although Reflector says it's not, right? Get Arch Mirrors, that's um, a RAM, and RAM is installed, and off it goes. It's going to use an application, Rate Mirrors. If it's not installed, the button, you can't click it. If Reflector is not installed, you can't click it. The gpg.conf is a very interesting thing to know. Sometimes we got these keys issues. Ugh. Arch Linux and keys, right? It's, it's for horror, for nightmares. So this GNU PG thing is, well, the gpg.conf that's in here, you can see it actually, the content already, is rather empty concerning the key servers. Can we open it with something nice? Mm, Kate is best. Voila. If we say backup, backup is good, always good to have backups. And voila. Then we have here, let's see if I have probably reload or something. F5, F4, F5. Ooh, what was that? I found a keyboard shortcut, I think. <laughs> Let's close it up. And then this one again. Nope, unsuccessful. Let's try. Back up and reset. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I know why. Always close the, the windows that are running, right? This guy is still running. Can't click anything now. <sighs> I'm too fast and too furious. Too eager to test it out. So this will be our servers regarding the rate mirrors. It says that this is the first mirror that wins. Lee Webnet and indeed sometimes he is at the top. So it might be true that he at this moment is the fastest. When he close, well, everything is finished and voila, he's, he's doing my, my click there. He's executing my click and saying, look, let's get our keys from Ubuntu. I know. Ubuntu of all distros. That's where we get it, our keys. But if it's not available there, maybe you should try the next one or the next one or the next one. And think about ports. Sometimes the router, internet service provider, makes it not easy for us to get our keys in. And the same thing can be done here with the GNU PG GPD to conf. So actually a level higher that means your home directory home and then gnu pg you see gnu pg nothing there but when we click it we have a folder gnu pg with the same content and if you need the key hopefully right hopefully ubuntu server is gonna provide it and you're well you can install your software Okay, that has been done. So basically, this is good to go, right? We agree, this is good to go. Grub. We saw something in the grub. That's true. Install the grub Femix team, and ATT will reboot automatically. We see already some errors down here. Let's see. Warning, unable to connect to the D-Bus. There is a D-Bus thing I should check out. It's coming again and again and again. So that's uh, hmm. Google, right? DuckDuckGo, sorry. So grub, we restart it automatically. This is our Arch Linux look. This is the Garuda look. This is the Endeavor look. And of course you can import any image on your computer system and have it as a, voila, grub image. Apply the wallpaper. Yes, nothing to do. 
but reboot. I guess this one will do. And then we restart. So grub is at the really at the beginning in the beginning of the yeah the boot process. So you need to, re to reboot and not log out. So this one, we need to figure out why that one has not changed, right? It's all about telling inside the application to change a name. If you find that name on Endeavor OS, change it with that. If you find that on Garuda, change it with that. Simple, right? Replace, find and replace. Okay, so that's on the to-do list. I have Control-Alt-T, but I found the button. That's a neat little trick. Eh? Inside Plasma, you can slide the other one around over it like this. These are all tricks. The wobbly is not active, I see, but uh, that's also one I like, the wobbly thing. All right, login. We have LightYM, we have SEM, who we are, who are we? SEM is active. We know already, aha, uh -huh. we've not see an, seen anything that was auto login. But uh, we know this is active. There is just the one, the plasma desktop. Theme, zero dark. Other themes if you want to. Install missing ArcLinks SDM themes. Should be possible, I think. It installs more of these themes. And then we can, uh, oh, <laughs> sorry guys, remove, it's gone again. Install missing SDM themes. And they have more choices. And you choose another theme. Shouldn't be any difficulty, so let's not waste time on that. Install Bibata cursor is just a package. Why would it be difficult? Why would it conflict? Maybe. Nope, does not conflict. And then you stop with everything and say, okay, I've got a new cursor icons, cursors, and that's our Pipata Modern Eyes that we have applied right now. You often have to reboot, it's back to black, but that's just a reboot away. So basically, we still need to figure out that one, how we're gonna fill it with, I would like to have something like this, right? Cursor theme, and then drop down, that's for later. We wanna keep off of this one, this might break your system. It really is gonna override things. So we better have something here to put everything back as well. I'm gonna try it. There's only one way that's trying it. But before I do, I'm gonna learn. How is this system? What choices did they make, right? It's always that. What choices did they make to launch sdm.conf.d? Good, we have that too. You can split up SDM configuration in two files or in one, and that's the trouble. And we've made uh, some time ago the decision if we're gonna go for SDM, then we follow the way that Plasma does everything. That's here, sdm.conf, and part of it is here. And part of it is in the other guy. So what's important is the theme here. Who is going to log in? In what? And the other bit is based in the other one. In the folder SDDM. The KDE settings. Oh, that's strange. They're both having the same file. Well, good that I see this. So the auto login should only be in this one, kdsettings.conf, and not in here. Now they're double. The general is also double. And theme. We should check. Right? We'll we'll talk to with each other later on after the video. If we apply it, everything will be overwritten, and then we'll see what we have as a config. Where is that Kata? Enable auto reload would be the good idea. So in the KDE settings.conf, we only have auto login, no session, no user. So if I want to 
go for Eric, but actually we can do that uh, with the Archerlink Sleep Tool. But here it is, right? Just type it. Just type it. Plasma. Oh god. Voila. It's set. So these are the things that we have here. And the other one, reload. Here we have general and theme for the cursor. And then the users, Wayland X11. That's what we have. I don't think in general this will cause us issues. This will be okay if we click on this thing. The only way to know it is to test it. So let's log out. Really Re Re reboot. Did we now save it? It matters a little bit if we save it a little bit. Because here's the asterisk, meaning Eric Control S. Let's save it. And this one is already saved, I see. Nevertheless, Control S. Well, I'm sure. So, quitting is always a good idea. Otherwise, you get this uh, annoying pop up saying, hey, you did not close it nicely and restart and we see if we can restart yeah playing with these files it has to work right it has to work it has to be correct 100 percent anything wrong in there i think plasma is rather forgiving but even then right there's no i shouldn't be wrong point or it's not point but how do you say it again in english voila let's run again period that's it period it has to be correct period we have a point in dutch so we've got that we've got that we've done that we've even applied this one so yes we should have a button to go to reset everything that's a very good idea indeed it's enabled already so no need to enable anything but we could have an idea say why not go to lightm so that's an option and choice the d bus gonna learn about the d bus uh, login so lightm is now here we can auto login why not in what session in plasma or maybe you want to see what we're getting voila let's see what we're getting but the default lightm is not nice that's why we have an att look so at least you have something that's a little bit nicer than a black screen so but let's see the black screen first then so if you want to activate if you want to change the login manager you need to enable the login manager and I, I always launch it from here because this helps us see what's going on i have more text often more explanation here than i ever could have written up here when you enable it and have this pop up but here i can write sentence and sentence and sentence give you more info do we have lightm available restart oh shut down doesn't matter where choose the right button here did we auto login no eh? voila no oh, that's not too shabby yeah that is not too shabby so that's nice from start and this is all we get if we click and this is what we get if we click there there's just one user, but I can make more users and I'll end with that later on in the ATT. So that's your Lightm. Message to Xero Linux. Can we tell it not to appear if we don't want it? So some click so so that it does not come automatically back. And then what's the next thing? Control T, eh? we got something, Arch Linux tweet tool. Okay. So, Lightium. Those are login managers. This one, this one. 
there's GDM, there's MDM, there's Lie, there's more, LXDM, right? But basically, besides maybe GDM, right? But then for GNOME, are the most uh, common. What else? Well, LightDM, what else can we do? We can change this one, uh, set ATT config. So, but basically we had already a beautiful one, so why even bother with it? But, okay. Let's go over the motions, because this Arch Linux tweak tool is also built for Arch Linux, eh, right? Everything is Arch, but it's black, it's, it's ugly, it's, it's, it's not interesting to look at. But at least if you click on that button, you have already something, right? This is it, you have already something. And if you have the uh, Arch GTK theme installed, this would be black as well. Right, if, 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 right, <laughs> choices. All right, control T, Arch Linux, tweak tool, going good so far. And this one, oops, this one, enable LightM Slick Greeter. It's a different version than the Light GTK Greeter. Slick, right? A hey, yes, slick. Okay, what happened to my machine? Log out. Restart. We need to reboot. There's a slick reader. And yeah, it has no wallpaper. So the only thing you have to do is add a wallpaper here. Okay, maybe I can do something about that. And point it to our wallpaper that uh, we just saw, saw earlier on, the blue one. Mm, I'll take a look. Control T. Ah oh, yeah, we have an, an alias for this one. Maybe you can make one. If the Arch Linux tweet tool comes to Xero Linux. So, that's working. Setting everything back means to enable SDM again and um, choose for Arclix Zero Dark. Voila, Zero Dark. We might go with another, uh, but we have to say it here, I believe, be part of cursor. Or if you don't say anything, nothing is changed. Simple. Voila. So now we are not auto login. Auto login, plasma, zero dark. Okay, fine. Apply settings. Next time around, I'll be back on SDM. Maris. We have all these Maris from Arconlex. I'm thinking already about Xero Linux mirror list. But in the end, it's here. Well, there it is, right? In the end, it's here. I don't have to do anything. Zero links repo. Don't want that. Don't want that, right? It's just a click away. You decide what you need. Linux kernels. Oh, interesting. What's that doing there, right? So learn about all that. And here is everything with the options, with the mirror list. So this one is the Arch stuff, Arch Linux. Here we don't see it. It says Arch, Arch Linux, Arch Linux. Okay, there's Xero, 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 yeah, mirror list. And this is Arch Linux mirror list. Okay, so no, nothing really to do because we have this application pace to do everything for us. Neofetch, Control T. We've got already something, so we need to figure out what am I on? What am I on? I am on Bash. Where is Bash? Bash is here. Home, hola, home, Bash RC is here. This is Bash RC. Now, to be safe, and that's the general idea always, we make backups. 
Bajor C back. ZSH has a ZSHRC back. And any file that we want to change in the future or now, right? It has already a backup. Thus, it starts with that. Let's make it possible to reset everything back to the way it was. That's the idea. And that's why I have to make it also with the sdm.conf there. We have to be able to reset it. And it's already back up, so, but it, we need to have the button to reset it again. Okay. Um, Bajor C. Bajor C. So this is the thing. And you learn what FS, FS, and maybe I'll take over some of these things. Right? Some of these uh, keyboards, well, you can call it an alias, as simple as that. It's, it's what it is, an alias, right? Can we close this thing here? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we can close this terminal somehow. I'm not a Kate lover, I'm a sublime text lover. So, if we want to change things, if we say, let's have a look, and actually that's the best tip I can give you. Learn from any distro what's inside the Bash RC and inside the ZSHRC and do your thing with it. So Bash RC is this, let's keep this open. When I click on the button here, uh, let's probably, we have to jump to the shells. We have to jump to the shells. If I am on Bash and I want to install Bash, not needed. And yes, I will delete the, the thing there in the end. I can overwrite the Bash RC with the Arch Linux Tweak Tool Bash RC. Boom, done. You know there's a backup, right? No stress. Enable. So this is now our configuration of Arch Linux Tweak Tool with our aliases. And you make a combo of anything you see. You say, oh, that's a nice thing. That's a good idea, right? Like these extracting things, I found it somewhere, so that's a good idea. And I've made it better. I made it more complete, right? The things that you're missing, you add it. And voila, we get each of us on all the distros, gather, gather stuff, make your own bash RC. And then, of course, we're gonna back and eh, reset back to the original bash RC. All these key bindings say me nothing because, right? These are my key bindings. Don't have them in my mind. So I can't type them. I need to study them. Like you study the bash RC of other distros as well. So we're on bash uh, RC. We can go to ZSH if you want to. Click. Oh, my ZSH is not installed. Click on the button, they say. We advise you do that because this one, this guy, loves theming. And if you reboot, then the themes come along. You see all the themes. And you can choose a theme. ZSH. Oops. We have to check about that. What happened to the end here? The back end. Ah, warning. Installing all my ZSH. Child process exited, but that's maybe still the same thing, right? This should work. Install all my ZSH. Is already installed, he says. So let's restart again. Shells, set as H. All right, so this is a thing to, to, to understand why he's not showing these things. Well, control T, here it is. So pseudo pacman minus S. Oh my, ZSH. Themes. Git, okay, git. Let's see what happens to it. Uh huh. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. There is absolutely zero reason for it not being there. Let's see. Let's apply ZSH. Meaning, you tell the system we switched. If you just switch shell, log out first. 
let's see if it's that simple that we need to be on ZSH which I would find strange let's do a reboot I quit and reboot then we're on SDDM again remember we told the system let's switch around LightDM, SDM we should be back on SDM now we don't suppose I suppose we don't know that because all right super X is not there I love my key bindings log out and this is SDDM okay the default SDDM so control T marginally street tool let's do that first that's not nice why is he having the default SDM now we're getting somewhere utilities pi get term my files read lolcat set active yep we got problems with a screen fetch so we're trying to read something in a line fetch with screen fetch in the utilities line to six he wants to read something and wants to decode it and we got errors okay I suppose that the ZSH because we're on ZSH at this point right control T yep we're on ZSH so let's have a look nobody said this would be easy set as HRC end of file how did the application work again thank you list looking at the line somewhere probably it says uh -uh. can't find that line something around those lines let's do something so sudo change shell eric and then minus s bin let's go back to bash shell changed we're logging out that's enough if you change the shell and log back in and then we'll know it's a ZSH thing. Arch Linux tweak tool. So it is a ZSH thing here. Okay, we'll have to investigate the ZSH tab. Let's see if we can add a fish. Fish is not there, so why would it give it a problem, right? Install fish. don't see any communication here I don't see any communication there I'm gonna restart because maybe we forgot to do some communication there if we don't type it it doesn't do it yep we should communicate here and here it's installed so fish installed already installed install fish you can install just one file or the whole enchiladas as they say so it's either this one file which is going to control shift doesn't work dolphin it's gonna add in the dot config a fish folder with one thing and you see there's already a backup always if eh, eh, the thing is if there is a config fish it will be your backup in this case it's exactly the same book backup as, as we put there okay resetting is of course overwriting it again this one is getting did I close it no is installing all the rest voila that's working we've got um, a script to install 
oh my fish so like oh my zsh right they have oh my fish all kinds of themes install some themes some plugins tight plugin and you don't like fish at all remove everything is there as well same thing as this one that's gonna work right but apply fish let's see So the ZSH has to be re rewritten or looked at anyway. It's always a, a challenge, right? To write code that works everywhere. But that's the challenge I would like to do. Um, Oh, yeah, we well, can see it already. Yeah? Fish, 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 fish. Here it is fish. And how do you see it's fish? Because of the pseudo pacman minus s tap tap. This should be doing something. So we better investigate that as well. Because we are on fish. Maybe. Well, we'll investigate it. So tap tap should give us choices and it's not giving us anything. No tap out completion. Oh, my mistake. Well, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff in front there. S and then tap tap. Oh no, 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 we should investigate. So normally you get the selection of letters as F, as G, as I, and it explains what it is. So for some reason, mm -mm, not doing it's what it should do. All right. Come on, get away. Arch Linux tweet tool. G is the bus connection. I don't need a G bus connection. I've never needed and all the other eight ones except Manjaro. I'm lying. In the seven ones, seven other distros, I don't need it. So maybe. Uh no. Manjaro was XFCE. This is plasma. We'll see. New fetch. New fetch can be added, right? Enabled. If it's not enabled, let's see. We need to know where this is coming from. So we're on fish. So we need to check out where that is coming from. And if we can change anything. New fetch. This is our new fetch. Or is it their NeoFetch? Probably their NeoFetch, right? So probably not gonna work. If it's well, it's quickly a quick check, right? Apply. NeoFetch. It's the same amount, right? Four icons at the top. So it's definitely another neo fetch. So maybe we just get rid of the button and, and keep everything as is. I'll investigate. Pacman. Pacman is good to go because it's just reading what's in the pacman.conf and showing it. The only thing is we need a line here to enable three lines. And which three lines do I need, Eric? You need pseudo pacman minus s y y u. You need to add three lines. Uh, uh, yeah, three lines. These three should go underneath. All the repos enable Xero Linux repo enable Xero Linux repo Excel and the Nvidia repo. Three extra lines. Gonna be long. Gonna be long. Might be that I put the other repos in another tab so we can switch. That's maybe not a bad idea. Article links, arch links, and the other repos. We'll see. Right, design wise, you have to think if you want to expand even more, it becomes a long list. Privacy or is it privacy? H block, can that be installed? Awesome! Awesome! Your PC just changed to a safer environment. 
What happened is just look it up, uh, HBlock, uh, GitHub, I suppose, and your system is blocking on the, in on a hardware way, on IP basis already, all the wrong sites that try to spam you and try to, to hurt you in any way as possible. So the hosts file has changed. All these stupid mother websites are blocked. They're all pointing to zero, 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 meaning nowhere. It's a black hole. They just went down the hole and you don't see them when you visit the internet. So that's HBlock for you. It's working fine and it's now off again. Oh, sorry. Let's go back then. And everything is back as it was, right? The normal kind of text that you have. And yes, also here, there's a, a backup. It looks a little bit different, the original one, open with hate, but it's actually the same thing, right? So that's gonna work. And of course, yeah, it's, it's coming from straight from Arch, it's just sudo pacman minus s. So we have now uBlock origin inside Firefox. Always a good thing to have something to uh, protect you somewhere in there. It finally will show up at some point in time, uBlock, uBlock origin. So just a sudo pacman minus s often is no problem. Services, that's something else that's, that's uh, rather recent and it's a bit technical as well. If you never heard about Samba, uh, ArchWiki Samba, and have a look. Basically, it's if you want to share, If you, first of all, you have to be a kind of capitalist, right? Joking, right? But basically, yeah, you need to have two computers or three or four or five because they need to talk to each other. And that's Samba. I want to share files this computer with my brother, with my sister, with my father. They should be able to get to my images that I've taken from the trip from New York. Just an example, right? And that's what we do. We make a Samba server from this computer and somebody else comes to you, to your computer. And it's all rather technical, but with some buttons, right? First of all, install network discovery. That's available, that's active already, Avahi. Is a technical name so that's working don't have to do anything this is a drop down of all the ns switch nss ns switch dot conf file in the etc every single one of them has a different vision of it you select the one you like and maybe he has a different as well and i'll put it in the download in the in the list here, so okay, Zero Linux way of providing this file, and it, it matters. It's the file that's not good in Arch Linux, right? It's here, but it will not work on any of my machines if I use this one. I need to have, of course, yeah, mine, right, on my machines, but Gerudo might work, or Endeavor OS might work, and I leave it up to you to figure out on your network what works. It is about how to connect to a computer. It has to be correct for your, well, systems. So I give you the choice. I always give you the choice, right? Freedom. And the Samba is a little bit more difficult in the sense that I've tried to make it simple. So first of all, read all in, in, in silence and what it says, but basically it's one, two, three. Install the Samba server, done. You have no configuration. I don't know why they do that. There is zero config. Then we use either the easy or the user shares. Easy is just a folder called shared in your home directory. And I put everything in there that people want to see. Well, basically I'm sharing with my own computers, right? That script needs to go to that there or that video needs to go back to the uh, this one and then upload it to YouTube. It's 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 that's why it's there, right? A shared folder to move things around in your network, rather than putting it online in the cloud or something, or put it in a USB, move it to the other computer. Ugh, boring. Sama server. 
So easy is a folder and user shares is more flexible. It's like any folder can become a share. So easy, apply selected samba.conf. It's in the etc samba and that's there. Finally, the thing has a, a configuration. All the explanations you see are here. Path Eric shared. So something happened to my machine. Yep, something happened to your machine. You've got a shared folder. And anything I can, from my other computers, I can navigate to this shared folder. Say I dump there my script or changes or pictures or videos or whatever. Right? Doesn't matter what you share. You have access to it because, and that's the next step, because you created a password for the current user. The current user is Eric, and I give, it's a separate password, right? It's for SMB, it's for, for Samba. So it can be separate. I'm using exactly the same password uh, because it's in my fingers, right? But it's the same password. I can now log into my computer with my name, login, and my password. It's done. The only thing I need to do is reboot. Here, if you change some things, sometimes you need a button. I've put a button here to restart SMB, small changes. You change something in the etc slash samba slash samba.conf. There's the button. The other option is the user shares. That's fine by me. You can use it again. So this one, I'm not going to show it because I can't. Right? It's in, uh, you have to have two computers with that. And this is a virtual box. But if you do that and apply it and create a password, then think about installing one of these because it does not work. The packages online do not work. I found the fix. And it's in the Arclink Sooner plugin, XFCE. It's in the Cinnamon, Nemo. And it's in the Mate, Kaja. So you choose which one you prefer and choose the the correct explorer, the correct file manager. Sorry for that ugly word. Did I switch so we had this this one we need to visit pac man we've done okay privacy okay okay we've done now everything did not jump shells we're gonna visit the ZSH again alright terminals we have already Alacrity installed I've seen that or did I not see that Let's check again. Yeah, Alacrity is there. We can install themes for Alacrity. Again, a pseudo pacman s shouldn't give us any issues. Installing our Alacrity, the font for it, Arclinks Alacrity Kit, the themes, another base, a lot of themes. Basically, go and do Alacrity themes. This is I can't make this any better. Why put this inside a ADT, for example? Because all you have to do is just go through the list and choose. But something again, right, <laughs> is not right here. This should change every single time we change it. It changes with it. So every every button we press down, 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 our whole terminal changes, but not here. So has probably something to do with all of the setup. Unless Eric, unless Eric be awake, we're on console, right? Why do you think that would change, Eric? Uh huh. Because I'm getting tired. It's late in the evening. They're asking me to help. Um, so, Alacrity themes. Now it will work, of course, right? Uh, that's what it means. So if you go over the list, it's it's enormous. I can never make this so good as as this is. You see immediately. Okay, let's go to Basker Basker will count font count, whatever, right? And you type new fetch. How will this look? Uh, now it looks like this. And via the colors, I already know I'm on fish. So this is our theme. So the dolphin. Um, the console thing <laughs> reacts differently that's for sure all right we can have themes for xfc but we're on plasma does it make sense to have XFC? entirely up to you 
does have sense uh, to have termite. It's it's dead, people said to me. But I'm still making packages for it, still updates. So termite is one other terminal and it's available, still available and it's still working. And the fun is, of course, we've made, years ago, we've made themes for the thing. Oh, that was too soon. Terminals, all right. Uh, pop up, pop up, yep. Too soon. Install themes for termite. Termite themes installed. Now we need to reset termite. Oh, sorry, not reset, but uh, refresh the list. I am getting tired, but I want to make this, I want to finish this so I know what to do next time around in the code. So this one we'll definitely need to visit again because it's all about this bash RC or this fish. It should be possible to click on NeoFetch here and maybe on lolcat. And let's see if Alacrity is there on the party. Voila, Alacrity responds normally. And termite is installed. Termite responds normally. So it's just a matter of figuring out or or you know, it's the console thing, right? It's uh, it's definitely that. Okay. And we could add XFC, and you will see, probably see it's working on XFC as well. Control T pseudo pacman, oops pseudo pacman minus s and then xfce4 dash terminal what we should try as well xfce4 yeah you see i'm a i'm a terminal guy up oh, i launched it from here working and then uh, what i was thinking as well is the pseudo pacman although yakuaki yay it's there but but that's something else huh? needs to be restarted as well f12 yeah it's there i love my f12 all right the terminals we know we have to check it themes oh that's gonna be difficult well the themes are because of the desktop and if we can't install the desktop we can't do the themes so both of them need to go out for the moment and I need to figure out the code behind it for Manjaro and for Zero Linux. And now we're at the end. You know Joe? Voila, that's Joe. He's gonna be an administrator. And then the guy has been created. And if we log out, if we log out, if we log out. There is Joe. Hi Joe. I would like to end with a nicer SDM there. That's rubbish. Everything is created, right? This is a new user. This is why ETC Scale exists. Eh? Everything that's now in ETC Scale is copy pasted over how else is it possible that this is filled with all kinds of things of alacrity and fish and latte and termite and where is it all coming from skell etc skell all right so control t not working why is the key binding of the other guy eric so I have to use this button here. Uh, what I was going to do is Arshling Twinkle, and then I can call it today and help for dinner. If we launch this, yes. All right, if you don't close it off nicely, there is, oh, Joe is the password. Joe, of course. Huh? Last but not least, if we log in, we have SDM, Xero Dark. So one of the reasons we have to figure out why that's not avail available. Pfft, urban lifestyle, let's see. Apply settings. I probably, I'm gonna do this first. 
then yeah urban style okay like this is this working and then we log out oh i think i missed the button there log out is enough voila that is working and this joe thing we had don't have a drop down in this design so i need to actually know <laughs> what my name is okay it's security wise it's not that bad right so uh, well i've shown my password that was security wise not interesting <laughs> login and we're back in all right that's the first check and um gives many challenges ahead that's fine that's fun and if you're not into that right don't start becoming a distro builder it's not it's always about finding solutions to problems always if you don't like to analyze and keep at it it's not for you all right have fun with zero Linux, guys <laughs>